In this video we've got a tank of water that's full to a depth of 5 metres and that 5 metres of head is giving us a flow of water coming out of this pipe. In this video we're asked to draw what's happening to the total energy as we move through this system. So we're going to try to draw a line along this system that tells us what's happening to the total energy in the system as we move through this pipe. And we're told that we can assume that there's going to be a local loss at the exit from the tank. So we're going to have a local loss at this point here that's going to be equal to k u squared over 2g. And we're going to have a continuous loss in the pipe. So in the pipe we're going to have a continuous loss due to friction that we can describe as the friction factor times the pipe length over the pipe diameter times u squared over 2g. So this is an example we've looked at uh, in the two previous videos. We started that by working out the velocity coming out of this pipe. Then we looked at how to work out the pressure in the pipe. And now we're going to think about what's happening to the, the energy as we move through the system. We're not actually going to work out any values in this video. We're just going to think about what's going to happen to the energy as we move through the system. So we know that in the tank we've got the equivalent of 5 metres of energy. So at the top of this tank we've got 5 metres of potential energy and elevation. So we start out with 5 metres of energy. So everywhere in this tank you will have 5 metres of energy, whether it be 5 metres of pressure at the base, 5 metres of elevation at the top, you're always going to have 5 metres of energy in that tank. So we can assume that as we move through that tank, the energy will remain constant and at 5 metres. When we get to the pipe exit, we're told that we have a local loss, and we know that our local loss is k u squared over 2g. So our local loss is going to be a loss of energy due to the water trying to force its way into this pipe. And that's going to be a, a sudden loss of energy. So because it's a local loss, the loss is occurring at this local point. So we're going to get a sudden drop in energy. And that drop in energy would be equal to k u squared over 2g. So we're going to lose, at that local point, energy equivalent to k u squared over 2g. So we start out with 5 metres of energy. And at the exit point, where the pipe exits the tank, we're going to lose k u squared over 2g in a sudden drop. As we go down the pipe, we're also going to be losing energy due to friction, but this isn't going to be a sudden drop. This is going to be a continuous loss in energy. So we're going to be continuously losing energy as we go down this pipe. So this is going to be like a gradient line. So this is going to be a line that continuously goes down. And if we think about how much energy we're losing as we go down the pipe, the total loss at the end of the pipe, so we're going to be continuously losing energy as we move down this pipe, but the total loss is going to be the friction factor times the total length of the pipe over d times u squared over 2g. So our loss is going to keep on increasing as L increases, but the total loss due to friction is going to be the total length of the pipe over d times u squared over 2g with our friction factor at the front of the equation. And then we're going to finish as the water exits the pipe. We now will finish with our final energy which will just be kinetic energy and velocity head which will be u squared over 2g. So in this system in the tank we have a constant energy level because we're not assuming that we're losing any energy in the tank. We're getting a sudden drop of energy due to local losses as the pipe exits the tank. We're then getting a continuous loss in energy as we move through the pipe, but the total loss due to friction is going to be F L over D times U squared over 2G. And then we end up with an energy level that's just in kinetic energy. So this is how we'd think about drawing the total energy line in a system like this.